What's up, people viewing via YouTube? My name is Pat, otherwise known as Rage Rover. Now today, I'm bringing you a video that's going to start off my other part of my channel that's going to cover cars, motorcycles, classic cars, anything of that nature, maybe even aviation, who knows? Anything that can burn fossil fuels, so to speak. Now today, I'm actually going to be covering my motorcycle, and it's my third motorcycle I've ever owned. I absolutely love it. So, without further ado, without me just stalling, let's just get right into it and let me show you my 2000 Harley Davidson Ultra Bike. Okay, so here it is, my 2000 Ultra Classic. And I've had this bike for going on three years now, and I've paid probably way too much than I should have for it, but it's what I really wanted. I wanted a touring bike, and this is what I wanted. So I kind of wanted to make it look like a street glide, kind of, um, just short of the tour pack and a few other amenities that you typically find on an Ultra Classic. So I started removing items, like if you noticed, like the rear bumper and the saddlebag guards are gone. I just simply removed them, no big deal at all. And I also removed the bumper off the front fender and also the spotlights on the front. And I just kind of kept everything, like I wanted to have chrome on there, so I left all the chrome on. And uh, as you see the tires there, one's a white wall, one's a black wall, just because I can't afford a white wall tire uh, to replace the rear. So uh, eventually they will be black wall all the way around. And as you see there, the front spotlights, they're completely missing. Just to kind of clean up the front fairing is kind of what I like. I left the front running light on there as well as the rear running light. And uh, the exhaust, I absolutely love the exhaust. It kind of looks like bellflower tips that you'd find on like lowrider cars from classic cars, that sort of thing. So I guess you could say it's like a lowrider themed uh, build uh, or look that I went for. Uh, hence why if you notice on each side of the bike, those rear covers, those they have orange flames on there. And then I went with a shortened windshield with the uh, windshield bags and also these mirrors. Um, I absolutely love these mirrors. I picked them up for 20 bucks and they have LED lighting in them. As well as the headlight, it's running in LED, HID, high and low beam, which is really nice. And I'll actually show you the other lighting that I have going on here. Um, that I have wired up to the accessory switch. I have LED lighting lighting up the motor. I also have LED lighting uh, both the uh, exhaust tips and just reflecting off the chrome and the ground. Really, really cool. Um, and I will actually show you what they actually look like here in a little bit at nighttime. As you can see there, I actually have the true LED HID effect um, in that headlight. Yeah, I paid enough for that headlight. But I tell you what though, at night I am very well seen and I can see a lot better as opposed to halogen. And as you can see there, there is the bike as it looks like at night with all the LED lights on. I figure I'd start her up and let you guys listen to her. And yeah, being a 2000 she is fuel injected. Pretty well for a bike this heavy and uh, as small a cubic inch the motor as it is. wraps it up for this motorcycle not much else to really talk about what I might do in some future videos is I'll actually uh, slap the camera on like a GoPro and maybe we'll go for a ride alrighty guys thanks for watching the video and if you could please like and subscribe to my channel as I will post more and more videos just like this one so other than that I'll see you guys next time in another video